Viking best deck. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm sitting here with Yasin after a... What did you do this weekend? You, I got top 8 at YCR City! Let's go! Let's go! See ya with the Nintendo Switch and uh, the beautiful prize card that I didn't win, unfortunately. Let's go. You can claim it. It's alright, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna get the Ultra Rare version, though. That one's just... It's not good enough. Huh? It's, uh, my bad. Thanks for that. Yeah, <laughs> well, how was your and weekend? I got destroyed by this legend. Bye, guys. Everybody else in the room. Yeah, shout, yeah. Out, shout out to everyone. Shout out to the boys. Hani, Kamal, Chris G. G! And you, yeah, for sure. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it was it was an insane experience. I'm actually so glad that I uh, went all the way to Australia. It was worth it. Like from Montreal, it's like 24 hours of flights the way there. Uh, I I thought I was gonna die. I didn't. And then I thought I was gonna die in Australia again because of the animals. And I got scammed because I didn't see anything spicy. There's literally nothing there. So everyone who thinks that there's a lot of kangaroos in Australia. Well, you're right, but they're not like in the city, so uh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go uh, a little far, but um, yeah. No, I, honestly, I'm really glad about like the whole uh, experience. Like I said, I traveled like one week before, uh, so I got to explore the country a little bit. Uh, everything was just insane. Like this country is honestly just degenerate. It's like tier zero, uh, and yeah, I got a lot of shoutouts to to give by the way. Uh, so shoutouts to my sponsors, as you can see, Inspire TCG as well as Dueling Guard. Please bo check both of them out. Uh, this wouldn't be possible without them. Uh, so yeah, both links will be in the description box below. And for Dueling Guard, use the coupon code YASIN6R6 uh, for 5% off your next order. And also, be huge shoutouts to uh, my sponsors as well, Card Brawlers. Uh, again, link will be in the description box below. Uh, none of that would be possible without like any of you guys. And also, shoutouts, huge shoutouts to my boy Jonah, Jojo ASMR, for um, just being so nice and uh, you know giving me such a nice experience at uh, Strike One Locals. The day I landed, literally in Australia, so I just had so much fun and uh, in the Pojang's locals, and then I got to hang out with the, the whole crew afterwards. It was so fun. So yeah, again, like I said, everything about this experience was amazing. Definitely would do it again. Anyways, for the deck profile now. Yeah, I know it's really funny. Uh, so I'm on the three Snake Eye Ash, three Bonfires, so six uh, starters as well as uh, the two Diabelle stars and three Wanted. Uh, maybe this should have been uh, three of. At first I was playing 41 with three Witch, and then I cut it. Uh, down to two. It's just that in this deck it's a little less good. Diabelle Star and Wanted don't actually do the same end board as Snake Eye Ash and Bonfire because of the way I play the deck. Uh, so this ends on Appaloosa and Blue Whale Arvada, whereas this ends on Appaloosa and, Bl and Blue Whale, that's it. Uh, no Arvada. Uh, which is still fine, but I don't know. And also, like, I don't really like drawing Diabelle Star as my only starter. Like, Wanted obviously is better because we draw one card, and these cards are just like insane. Uh, yeah. And also played the double populace as well as one for one and original, so it's it's like a 91, I think, percent chance of getting a one card combo. It's, it's fine. It's, I bricked a few times, actually. I, I bricked against uh, Kamal in uh, top 8 game 1, but I, I drew so many hand shoves that at least I was able to survive and just like uh, climb uh, back up. Uh, yeah. uh, the one oak and the one flamberge. Uh, yep. Yeah. And for the Far King card, same as you, just double Kirin with one of the other guys. Uh, you can play Barong, actually, if you really want to, with three Kirins. You can go, like, big on the Far Kings. That, that's what, uh... That, that's, that, that's, that's what, um... <laughs> that's, what, that, that's what Jonah actually did. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, they're, they're kind of nice. Uh, now, uh, three Ash, three Nibiru, three Imperm, and three Valor. Yeah, 12 hand traps. And uh, Island Sanctuary with talent and 3 cross out. Uh, so, yeah, uh, maybe I should have main decked uh, Call by the Grave. But again, it, it's really hard to like squeeze everything in the 40 cards. This is 40? Yeah, it's 40. Oh man, I gotta rewatch the profile. That was crazy. Yeah. Um, how you felt all that card? Oh, yeah, that, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's really Are you playing Mortar? No, not in the main. There you go. Yeah. Because I'm on 12 hand shops, so... Yeah, but he plays crossbow. Yeah. I'm, just like, I'm just like, you know the difference is like, oh, in, in cards. Are you familiar with the crossbow game one or no? Nah, not on game one. On game one, it's not that real, but... It, it came up like once against pure snake eyes, but... I, I think I... I, I mean, I, I wouldn't... I don't think I drew cross out anyways. So it, it was it was a weird situation. Uh, for the side deck, uh, this is my siding pattern for um, uh, the fire matchups going second. I sided, well, at least against pure. I'm on three mortar, three bestials, and then the divine temple, and I sat out all the seven fire king cards. The five um, monsters as well as uh, Island Sanctuary. Uh, it, it, none of this mattered, honestly. Like my my whole side deck that I'm about to show you, nothing mattered because every time I lost, it's always like on engine cards, anyways, and not like side deck cards. 
So even if my side deck was perfect, it wouldn't have changed anything. Um, double Pankratov. So again, same thing. This, this, this card's good in theory, but it doesn't matter because the one time I drew this card, it got some judgmented against Century on, so I lost that game anyways. Uh, and then Cosmic Cyclone maybe could have been a 3 of instead of the 2 Pankratops. I don't know. Again, not really relevant. Uh, but I guess this card is also playable going first. It's just that I already have too many cards going first, which is kind of like my issue. Uh, Duster for going second, but there's it's an unsearchable one of it. It's not like it's a cross out target. And for the kind of like these cards are pretty much always side in going first, with sometimes like the Cosmic as well. Uh, so my, my philosophy is this is just that I really want to increase the likelihood of playing through things, whereas Summon Limit doesn't really make me play through anything, uh, but Call by the Grave and Talents, at least they, they allow me to keep pushing, so that's why I, I just did that, but maybe in hindsight, I probably should have cut the two Pankratops in favor of like double Cosmics, so I can also side in the two Cosmics, or also cut the Duster and the third Talent for two more Summon Limit. No, again, not that it matters. Uh, and also, I really wanted to have that one summon limit, uh, just in case uh, it would be like a cross-out target, but the one time I drew summon limit as, uh, to use it as a cross-out target, I drew the summon limit as well, so I drew the summon limit and the cross-out, that was, that was horrendous. Um, yeah, uh, for the side deck, uh, sorry, extra deck, uh, Link Rebo, Hita Dark, uh, Phoenix, IPSP, and then Sunlight Wolf, Doolittle Chimera, Doolittle Chimera is uh, here instead of Heat Soul, you can pretty much only really play one or the other. Uh, the, the real application for this card is that it's a Fire Beast, so when you link it off, uh, and then you go Garunix Effect, instead of having to revive back the Ponyx, you can revive back this, and then you can use it and any other monster to make the Princess, instead of like using three monsters for Princess, several more Negi. Uh, but yeah, Doolittle Camera was great for me, honestly. It came up multiple times, but I can also understand why Heat Soul is nice. It really just depends on how you play the deck. It's just like, a, there's a lot of differences in philosophies. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a complicated deck for sure. I don't even know if it's like a solved deck, but at this definitely point. not close. Yeah, it's not solved. Yeah, it's just so many things that you can do with this deck. Uh, then Celine, double princess. Uh, Celine came up like maybe once or twice. My regret was also not playing Appaloosa. Uh, sorry, Axis Code, so I would have like less things to climb into. I really only had like these monsters. Uh, but the extra deck space is somewhat tight. Uh, because I really wanted to play the Phoenix, and I think Phoenix is good, and yeah, everything else is just a necessity, right? But it just nah, no, 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 no shot, no. Amblo Will was so good for me. Nah, Amblo who? Amblo. Amblo huh? Bro, bro. <laughs> nah, no shot. You guys are crazy, but nah, no. I don't even know if we're crazy. I just think we're realistic. I forgot this card existed. Bro, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Bro, the came up like, so often for me. I don't know. That just doesn't come up, bro. Uh, it's like the, the when it's destroyed, you get to revive back the IP. It's, it's just like it's more interruptions, but also the graveyard effect. It throws people off guard. You can shin block as well. It doesn't target. Everything about this card was just amazing for me. So Amber Whale, no regret, but maybe yeah, maybe access code. I don't know. It, it maybe really in the matter. world, if you just took it out your extra deck and played without it, you'd realize it. Uh, I would have to play completely differently. I would have to maybe adapt to your version for that. Uh, it's just like coherent. With yeah, my I decisions, agree. I agree because I agree. of the way I play my deck, it makes sense. Yeah, it does. Hundred percent. Yeah. I agree. I agree because you're doing the combo where you Appaloosa first instead of like yes. Yeah. I don't know, like yeah, I know because otherwise you obviously want to go into Heat Soul first uh, since you you can go I mean, into Sun and Wolf and then Heat Soul in the extra monster zone. I mean, it depends. If I have the extra body to make Apple, if I don't have the extra body to make Heat Soul, and like that's the thing, like yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, for my deck list. I mean, again, I I think it was fine. It's just that the few losses that I had, nothing mattered. That, that's yeah. all I can say because it's just like you're you're gonna break because of things that you can't control, like drawing like multiple Snake Eye Ash, Populous, Flambridge Oak, all the bad cards. It, it doesn't matter how good you are at deck building; these things will happen. You will lose games. You can be like the best player on earth, and it's gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, no, yeah, just, I, I love this deck. Uh, if you ask me, like, what do I recommend between Pure Snake Eyes and Fire King, it really does depend on the environment that you're at. If everybody's playing Fire Decks, then I think Pure Snake Eyes is better because it has room for more non-engine. But I, I think in a rogue-heavy uh, environment, it makes sense to play Fire King because uh, the Fire King cards are nice and pushing through boards. And I think against the Voices Voice deck, Fire King might be uh, better. Uh, and I faced quite a lot, actually. I faced two in uh, Top Cut. 
so yeah, it didn't matter that I played Fire King cards, at least for me. So no, no complaints there. Uh, I liked my deck, and I also, like I said, had a great experience in uh, Sydney, Australia. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, massive shoutouts to everyone. This was a great experience, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Take care.